I'm Marty. Yo, dude. We dude, got your have I got bowling the bowling shoes. shoes? Give me those flippers. Here's a pair of bowling shoes. Can I have those flippers, sport? Um, uh, no. <laughs> These are rancid. Yeah, okay. We'll just scrape the dirt out and say they're free. <laughs> <laughs> just take them to the, the dry cleaners. There isn't understand. any water within a thousand miles of here. What do you use those for? How are they living? I like to put them on and pretend I'm a duck. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Takes all kinds, I suppose. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got the only water here for a thousand miles. <laughs> you walk away, the bug buzzards will pitch you clean by the end of three days. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was a puddle of water outside. Yeah, by the way, that is accurate. There is no water in North America. Yeah, we're, we're kind of aliens. We don't De drink water. Yep, definitely not in Michigan. There's definitely not just puddles of water everywhere. There, we're, not def <laughs> we're definitely not surrounded by water on almost every side. Yep. So, we definitely don't have any lakes that are great. Of the the Great you Lakes. Look? I would look in an import shop. You would, would you? <laughs> Spy Fox, stop being stupid and just go to the import shop that you've already done last time this happened. All right, how about tapioca? Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? Of course, tapioca comes from the jungle. Everyone knows that. Who'd <laughs> have to be an idiot? <laughs> Spy Fox, haven't you asked like eight people this by now? Can you not get the hint? <laughs> Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? You get really tapioca need to make boba tea. Extracting and heating the juice from the manioc root. That's more how as opposed to where. Right. Sorry, Spy Fox. You can get fresh tapioca in the jungle. Or you could just go to Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> or they definitely Costco. have it there. Well, Whole Foods, though, uh, is like... Who would want Costco-sized paint of tapioca? That's my new <laughs> People who want to make boba tea. Don't use a Costco-sized paint of tapioca for boba tea. If you're making a ton of boba for your shop, yeah. Good. No. <laughs> Ooh, we, we're going to need the breath mint. The Spy Mint. Oh, that's true. Th this doesn't look any different from a normal mint, <laughs> Professor Quack. Spy it's Fox a is like, oh boy, the Spy Altoid. <laughs> the the I need Spy a so a Sour Apple Altoids. <laughs> they need to bring back Altoid Sours. <laughs> okay, side rant. Altoid Sours were like one of the best candies, and now they just they don't make them anymore. And I no, don't know don't. why. And everybody who I've talked to who had them was like, yes, they were the best. What am I supposed to eat now? Icebreaker Sours? Oh, please. Those things suck. Those are for the common cattle. And I'm the subject of great things that don't exist anymore. Double chocolate elf fudge is real. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, can we, lie to me all you want, people. Can we find people. proof of it online? I cannot. It's one of the few things I cannot find any evidence it's of online. It's that and the but Big Thinkers double, game. No, no, I have that there, in Steam Library. No, no, no. no. What game is it that there's like no recollection of it? it there's like no oh, Wikipedia. Living Letters. Yeah, Living Letters. There's no, like... Record I know, I, I found a copy of it on eBay once. Okay. So there was evidence of that. But double chocolate Elfwich. So you know the Elfwich cookies where they have yeah. the chocolate, like, frosty in the middle and they're the mm -hmm. vanilla cookies? There was a version of one of those back at a time when I was a kid where there was the chocolate cookies the chocolate frosty and they were the best <laughs> cookie ever. And why don't they make them anymore? And everybody who I've talked to was like, those never existed. Okay. And the internet's like, that never existed. And it did. No, what I want to know, do you remember when we were kids, we would go to, like, the store and our mom wouldn't get us M&Ms, but she would get those, like crunchy uh, Hershey's kisses, kiss? but they weren't Hershey's yeah, kisses. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. The, the, the tiny ones that are colored. Yeah, they looked like those, crunchy. yeah, they looked like those yeah. like game pieces that you would have at Cracker Barrel while you would wait <laughs> oh, for. Oh yeah. What, where are those? Did that like thing go out of business? I'm pretty sure Hershey's like, yeah, I'm not, it definitely didn't go out of business. It was Hershey that made them. Okay, I didn't know if it was Hershey. Okay, please be the like brown I'm one. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Pink Uchi Puchi Shadow. That that's, must be some kind of It's not of the one that's pancakes forever. Pancakes <laughs> forever. We can just add in a clip of that, okay? Oh, wait, we're not done with the desert. We have to go back there to get the fame from the cactus, lady. Yes. 
My spy beep, watch beep, is beeping. Beep, beep, beep. I better answer it. Oh wow, it actually is 746 in real life, and it's 746 on the spy watch. Spy Fox, spy Fox I have your order of Culver's right here. Come back to the spy watch. Oh good, it wouldn't be an Artie and Marty Let's Play without bringing up Culver's at some Listen, point. People it's, must it's, think that we're addicted. No, okay, I'm not really a fan of the Midwest per se. Culver's is the one thing where I'm like, okay. I am all about it's the Culver's. It's pretty good. Let's go to the desert. I mean, I could have said Starbucks order, but that wouldn't have. Oh, hello, child. <laughs> You're Come, child. Sharp pins. Ah, oh, it must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious. And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. Sorry, I don't use makeup. Because I'm a dude. I use makeup sometimes. Plan B. <laughs> Luke, my boy, a true gentleman never uses makeup. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I mean, I think I think girls can, should use makeup a little bit, but not too much. I'd much rather have a girl not use any makeup at all than be like, look, yeah. I look like a clown. Yeah. <laughs> I I, I kind of hold the opinion like, if you want to ma wear makeup, cool. If you don't, that's cool. Just don't. I, you don't. Don't, don't wear so much. Don't wear so much that you need to use concealer to conceal yeah. your concealer. Don't don't wear makeup that will make people super uncomfortable as well. Because there's like somewhere like they'll do makeup and then they'll have like, like the white out eyes or something cra Like well, I, feel, I feel like I feel like less is more with makeup and like it's very quickly. It's very easy to go from like oh just enough makeup that kind of like uh, covers up your blemishes sure. and like makes you like just look nicer and then like I move on after seeing the matchmaker. <laughs> I'm thinking more like uh too much eyeshadow. Sure. Big, big Or like big you no look no. like you almost had like a sunburn. Oh yeah. That's All right. Pa proper counterphrase time. All right. Here we go. It's the cosmetic counter code phrase compact. I really wanted make to make a, a dish, dish foundation. foundation. <laughs> Pressing that button that accessed great. the pink poochie poochie shadow. That accessed the counter code phrase. It's, it's like a GTA one. Delight in big heists. She, you know she's serious when her tongue stops hanging out of her mouth. Yeah. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. How are you making a profit? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Like she just, she did not ask. She's for money. holding on to it for somebody, so maybe they paid her to do that. As well as the amulet to get in. Like, and like, don't, don't give it to somebody unless they know the code, the code it's phrase. It's been very interesting talking to you. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a nice day. <laughs> Is she the weirdest character in the August Entertainment Games? <laughs> up there. She's definitely up there. <laughs> Who are some of the other weird ones? I mean... Oh, Hank the security guard. <laughs> How about Honko the clown who literally yeah, who, can't speak can't... except in honks? Also, the dude from Freddy Fish 5. That... Oh, the blood, the jug bowling guy? Jugs. Jugs. Also oh, from Freddy Fish 5. Can I use your scuba the... now, wet Eddie? Sure, Spy Fox. You know, I was just concerned about safety and all. Of course. When it comes to water, safety first. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait, uh, I got it. You got it? That guy sounds like Barney from The Simpsons. All right, then. We have a scuba suit, guys. Okay, Homer. Let's go to the Duff no, Brewery. What, I, what was I going to say? I don't remember now. Crap. Uh... Uh, Weird characters. Oh from yeah, Monsanto. yeah. I was gonna say, dude from Freddy Fish that's just constantly telling jokes. Rollo was pretty weird. Also, I would like. Mm, Actually, half the characters of Freddy Fish Five were really yeah, weird. Yeah, they're really the girl who's trying to like convert us to the military. Enlist us in the military. Well, conscript us to the military. Yeah, not convert. Conversion is yeah. Conversion is for religion, religion. but the uh, and cults. Yeah. Ooh. Sometimes those go two and two. Now no, it's an I'm evil ready for some underwater espionage. Sometimes do, do, do. Uh, they go two and two as in they try to combine them, but they're 
in fact, very different. Let's go scuba diving! Oh, well, that didn't last long. Hey, Clam. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Hey, bro. <laughs> what the He's heck? He's the weirdest human entertainment He's character. He's up there. I found a green sea urchin. <laughs> okay, we gotta get the code. Ooh, that sucks. The gate's locked. Okay, goodbye. I, I guess we can't go scuba diving. Nope, no scuba diving today. Sorry, spy folks. This scuba suit's a bit binding. I don't want to wander around in it. The scuba suit is binding, but the tux is not. Okay. He's used to wearing Bro, a tux. then wet Eddie's just gonna take it back, be like, Ah, I guess no one wants to scuba suit anymore. Do All right, we gotta get it? over. We gotta get over here. Normally, I just karate chop that guard, but this time I better be sneaky and wait till he's gone. I better double check. Double I remember, check. I remembered like two of them. Right, or left, right, down. Okay. All right. So what we gotta do as soon as he turns around? I can't sneak past the guard. I need to wait until he's gone. He was no, not even close. Do it till it, when he's off screen. Normally I just karate chop that guard, but this time I better be sneaky and wait till he's gone. What? All right, we'll wait till he's off screen. Oh, here we go. Okay, he spent way longer Sneaky's time off screen that time. Thirty-seven worked like a chip. All right. I snuck right past that guard. So Let's now we gotta try. turn Those these to be match like the gate. Part of some lock mechanism. There we go. All right, it's the top left, old ogre. It, yeah. <laughs> More like old ogre. <laughs> oh my gosh. The wall right is old ogre. Shrek clay, it's green. I mean, it kind of is green, but... Well, actually, we'll see. Here we go. Time to scuba on down here. Time for Fox. The gate is open. Now I... This must be where Poodles gets her beauty clay, but it's too dark to see anything. I'm going to have to figure out a way to light up this joint. Too bad we don't have the, the night vision shoe from the first game. That's true. But, but we, we got, we we got, got the We got mix. the spy got Altoid, Altoid Sour. <laughs> That's going to be the fun nail. <laughs> the quack spy mint worked perfectly. The mint is lighting up the entire room, and it was very refreshing. So let me explain why this is annoying. So the chart that shows where the clay is, is a perfect square, but this is tilted. So is this the upper left or is that the upper left? That's the upper left. Well, as a kid, I thought that was the upper left. You can only really tell because there's this key down here. Yeah. And the key is also visible on the, the map. So yeah, this yeah. is the upper left. It's Poodle's It's facing clay. toward the direction that's Spy Fox is, so that's why. Pin needs to right, but because it's on a diagonal, that can be confusing if you're Yeah. Young. In the green glow of the Spy Mint, all the clay looks the same. Maybe this will be the right kind. Also, if you get the right clay, it doesn't show you the scene progressing in the game. So we're only going to see two of the Poodle's Galore scenes. We're not going to see the one where she, like, kidnaps the, like, the p other cosmetic people and, like, seal them in the castle. Dang! Like, that sucks! Is on. I mean, it's fine. She's not quite as evil in this one, I guess. No, I mean, she's still trying to destroy the Earth's atmosphere. To sell sunscreen. Like, I'm all for capitalism, but, uh, not that much. <laughs> I'm all for sunscreen, but not that much. You gotta at least follow the law. Hop in your secret spy car. All right. We're going to the USA. No, we gotta go to the jungle to get the tapioca oh. that everyone was telling us to get. I was it's just like, make here. me a donut it's without tapioca. So much the okay. As it is the all right. Holiday. I want. I wanted to go up the. Oh wait. Ooh. No. No, lady. I want the tapioca. <laughs> I'm looking for tapioca. Do you know where I can find some? Well, you should be able to find some here in the jungle. 
but I can't say exactly where. I'm a gummatologist, not a tapiocaologist. Here in the jungle, eh? All right, maybe it's inside the temple. <laughs> it's definitely inside the temple. Along with the coin that you get in Ultimate Chicken Horse. Spyfox was so surprised that the gate opened. Why'd when you did walk that. down? The Go in. Worked. I'm in there. <laughs> I just also, like getting my also, exercise. Do they have like lights outside here? Yeah. Oh, like, we got well, well, the, when, the, when we for... the Aztec Pyramid is now a tourist attraction. This is a tourist attraction. Yeah. yeah. You gotta walk. This is through. how you they you know you went too far. We got the rust buster. I don't see anything I need to bust with rust there. Really? Nothing? Not even one little thing? You, you clicked see. on the table thing, not I the... I clicked on the blade. Those blades may be now shot, you did. But you clicked here last time. I clicked time. in between the two blades. Yeah. Have a dose of Quack's rust buster, you bad blades. This is Quack's most terrifying power, I think. Just insta-rusts that can blow away. Yeah. Quack's instant oxidizer... Imagine they're using that on someone's car. Blades with rust. <laughs> Like, while they're driving. This is what I think of you, Jim, for parking in my spot every day at the apartment. He's <laughs> like, oh, you cut me off? You think you're gonna cut me off? <laughs> well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle. Forget the no chickle. Time. We want the jewels above the chickle. We want or that guy's nose. nose. That guy's nose, definitely. You know what they say. All, all spies to toast all, toast. All good toasters toast toast. Toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. This is your public service announcement but for the day. It is a spy toaster, and I <laughs> What about Echo Waffles? So Those don't toast. belong in a toaster. Make your own. Those waffles. belong in the microwave. <laughs> Who eats waffles? Pancakes are better. That's that, a lot of people I know. That's that would be Spy Fox. Spy Fox loves his pancakes. At last, I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy. Uh oh. Let's get that piece Let's of chicken that instead. Piece. That's if we want to destroy the aerosol can. Get up, buddy. How is it jumping like that? <laughs> She's very happy that we got crushed by it. <laughs> yup. No, no one can get into the tourist attraction. No, she can write about this for her Gomatology 101 and get like a A plus plus in class. <laughs> oh boy, A double pluses. Oh, now we're gonna get the thing. Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is still happening while you've been dawdling about talking about Altoid Sour Wars. My special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed. That's her real master plan. Is she's getting rid of all of the Altoid Sours. <laughs> I was about to say, if Poodle's Galore just brings the Altoid Sours back, I, I, I'm cool with this. this not really. All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen! Poodle's brand SPF If that kills one. trees, though, it doesn't matter. I will not only be the queen of <laughs> then you're you still gonna die. <laughs> you underestimate her power. <laughs> She is my least favorite of the Spy Fox villains, though. I liked her as a kid. No, not as much. I think, is LaRoche my favorite, though? Yeah, LaRoche is definitely my favorite. William the Kid didn't really LaRoche had me. the best backstory. He turned evil because he couldn't ride the ride when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> very It's believable. like a very Doofenshmirtz backstory. Pretty much. Oh, I feel like for the games, it was like the first one, William the Kid wasn't really a cool villain to me, but I loved like the the journey to get there because mm -hmm. it, it felt like a Bond film. You're like sneaking around Greece and then you're like dancing with like Russian blue and then you're like doing all this other stuff. Well, honestly, I think I think William the Kid and Spy Fox had the best like villain, do like hero band. Yeah, yeah. LaRoche was just funny. Ever call me Billy. LaRoche was funny because it was like. LaRoche was also the biggest threat by far. Yeah, he was gonna. Like, destroy the world with the dog mod. And then leave a cloud over Seattle. Oh, the, yeah, that was his real plan. so, old bean. It's the only thing I found to eat in this dreadful jungle. Morning, noon, and night, it's tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. It's simply ghastly. I'd give the Queen's royal jewels for a salami sprinkles donut. He likes the salami. That's that's who likes it. Trade, but how about some tapioca for the donut instead? For a salami sprinkles donut, you can have the whole bag of tapioca. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, See, bud. he's the target demographic for salami donuts. 
people who live in the middle of the jungle that are oh, also, willing to try new things. Salami's kind of gross, though. I agree. I know a lot of people who love it. Oh, it's like a fine meat, but like it has mold on the outside of it. Again, the whole concept of eating mold is just weird to me. Yeah, I don't like blue cheese. Blue cheese. Well, sorry. blue cheese is also just ridiculously strong. I my first double time, whammy. Yeah. Again, I I like cheese in moderation, but I don't want cheese so to be the dominant flavor. So we need to get rid of the. Cop. Give me the salami sprinkles. Don't no. eat it this time. Wow. He's gonna eat it. it. What we actually have to do is we just have to take the sign out down. And he's like, "There's no more free donuts." Oh man, I'm gonna hang out in the bowling alley and eat nachos. I can put on the dirty bowl of cheese. fried donut. Get away from there. That's mine. Get your call the police. Get your grubby hands off my donut. I just love free donut day. <laughs> Shut up! When I'm a police officer, every day is free donut day. <laughs> all right. I, he, yeah. He so. must be very sad. He doesn't have any friends to sit with. That's because he ate all his friends' donuts. But I. But you know, like police usually like are going to yeah with their buddies. All right. Let's get let's get him out of here. This should create some excitement for our boy in blue. I'd better toss it outside. I don't want to disturb the donut maker. Yeah, she won't be disturbed by this. <laughs> What's that? Why, officer, I do believe some hooligans have started a laugh riot out in the streets. Hooligans? Laugh riot? Well, I'll just see about that. Hey! <laughs> riot! <laughs> you went oh, under the door. You hooligans, come on up. You can't hide from me forever. I hated having to do that. We are on the same side and all, but I'm a spy and I'm on a top secret mission to save the world. Also, he was a jerk butt who wouldn't let me eat my, my salami, salami donut. Sprinkle donut. <laughs> I'd like a salami sprinkles donut, please. You've ordered a lot of those. I haven't eaten one yet. <laughs> Yeah, the, the seagull could want any of the donuts except XY, obviously. Yeah. He usually wants a new fashion. I feel like he always wants the hairy berry claw. Or, yeah, or that one. Mm, let's give that one to Play-Doh Pushman and see if it, if it works. <laughs> Spy Fox, this is the wrong donut. You jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up donuts for everybody. This is yours. That's not going to do me any good. <laughs> All right, here you go. Monkey Penny, you like salami, right? Not really, Spy Fox. That's not going to do me any good. All right, fine. We'll give him the clay and the chickle. Here is the special clay you asked for, Pushpin. <laughs> Perfect, Mr. Spy Fox. No. He has like the Dr. Mario capsules. He also lost it. He just tossed it behind his like reclining chair. <laughs> Spy Fox, I seem to have lost the beauty clay you gave me. I need to never yeah, right. piece of it. Stupid Plato Pushman. <laughs> That's what you get for running me over with the bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that chickle. Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. Is it now? Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Cool as a cat, such a clever foxy spy, you could say he's all that.